I've asked Drew to leave the room, can you two tell me more about what's going on? Well, Drew keeps running away from home and this is the third time in the past six months. I've tried everything, but Tyler doesn't quite support me. Well, now that's just ridiculous. Of course I do everything I can to support you and Drew. It seems that you two feel there is an imbalance in the responsibilities and stress that parenting has brought you. Well, yeah, Tyler should be helping more. I'm doing all I can. You don't do much to support me through all of this, but you don't think of that. So I can see that this difference of perspectives in your responsibilities is difficult for the both of you. I can see that you two are having some negative feelings towards one another. Um, it might be, even lead to you blaming each other. Um, can you see that? Can you see how that might be making things more stressful in the two of you in your relationship? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so to move forward with the session today, let's start by talking about risk factors that may be contributing to the issue that your child is wanting to run away from home. So risk factors are something that you see as a threat that could contribute to your child's deviant behavior. Can either of you start to identify something, a part of your family functioning that could be a risk factor for this? Well, maybe it's because Tyler and I argue a lot at home. Yeah, I've noticed that Drew will run out of the room when we start to bicker. That could be a risk factor. Maybe they just wanna get away from that. Okay, great. So can you think of any reasons why this may contribute to Drew's behaviors? Well, I work a lot and I'm not home much, but when I do get home, Danielle and I start arguing and about something like how I'm not helping enough or we're blaming each other for something that happened. I think any child would want to see a good relationship between their parents. Yeah, I agree with that. Drew usually watches us argue and then runs off to his room. And then we end up spending the rest of the evening bickering or ignoring each other. And we don't end up giving Drew that much attention. So you two believe that your arguing takes away time that you could be spending with your child. So it sounds like the two of you think that spending more time with your child will help prevent behaviors that your child is isolating or maybe running away. Yeah, I think we could have a better relationship with our child. So I'm hearing that you believe you, um, Drew behaves this way due to the lack of attention given to him because you two frequently argue at home. So now we wanna try and turn these risk factors that we talked about into protective skills that help to improve your life as a family at home. So what do you think you could do to turn these risk factors of arguing at home into a protective factor that leads to the outcome that you two want to see? Well, I don't know, honestly. I mean, it's not like we want to argue. We don't try to. Uh, we could argue less to make time for spending time with Drew. Do you two ever do anything together, like just the two of you? Um, we've not really done anything that's just the two of us in a long time. So do you think you would be willing to plan something together with just you both? Didn't we just say we should spend more time with Drew? Wouldn't that defeat the purpose? I understand how planning something without Drew would seem like we're not going towards your goal that you've identified today of spending more time with Drew. So making plans for just the two of you could help you build on your relationship and establish more positive experiences and feelings with one another. So working on your relationship may help you to see that it could reduce the amount that you argue at home. Like we established today that less arguing, less arguing would allow you to make time for Drew. Is this something you guys would be willing to try? Yeah. Yeah, I think that sounds nice. Okay, great. So between now and our next session, I would like you two to set a time um, aside maybe just a couple of hours for both of you to spend time together just doing something that you enjoy then we can talk about how it went in your next session okay okay great so next time we meet i would like to see both of you two back here with drew as well and then we'll discuss how these plans went all together okay. thank you